Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. Indian Parliament again witnesses chaos over Rahul Gandhi's remarks and Adani Row. Political activists and locals oppose land reforms in Gilgit, Baltistan. And tourists visit South India to see Baby Jumbo after Elephant Misferas win Oscar. And now for all the details. The second day of the second leg of the budget session of the Indian Parliament saw stormy scenes once again on Tuesday, leading to adjournment of the proceedings. He did exchange between the government and opposition lawmakers over remarks in London by Congress leader Rahul Gandhi continued in the Rajya Sabha with senior BJP ministers seeking an apology over the comments in which Gandhi blamed the structures of the Indian democracy are under brutal attack. A similar chaos was witnessed in Lok Sabha, the lower house, where opposition lawmakers created a ruckus demanding a joint parliamentary probe in the Adani stocks issue. The first day of the session on Monday had also witnessed similar adjournments due to protest by the opposition. और मैं तो सभी पार्टी से अपील करूंगा कि वो इस बात की निंदा करें कि एक सीनियर मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ने पार्लियामेंट के अवमानना किए पार्लियामेंट का को बदनाम करने की कोशिश की और विदेशी धरती पर जाकर India's Supreme Court on Tuesday rejected the government's plea seeking more compensation from American company Union Carbide Corporation for victims of 1984 gas leak in Bhopal that resulted in one of the world's worst industrial disasters. The Apex Court said the government's curative petition for top-up compensation has no basis in legal principle. The court said they were unable to furnish any rationale for raking up the issue more than two decades after the incident and the claimants were already awarded more than reasonable compensation. The judgment says that there should be finality for Union Carbide. However, I think survivors today are feeling that what is the finality for the victims? In the early hours of 3rd December 1984, methyl isocyanide gas leaked from a pesticide factory owned by Union Carbide in Bhopal. Reports suggest more than half a million people were poisoned and the official death toll exceeded 5,000. The company agreed to pay an out-of-court settlement of 470 million US dollars in damages in 1989. Thousands of survivors of the tragedy have said they, their children and grandchildren are still struggling with chronic health problems as a result of the leak and toxic waste left behind. Well, Mutahida Kwami Movement founder leader Altaf Hussain on Monday lost a legal battle against the breakaway faction of his party over the ownership of seven London properties worth nearly £10 million. A court in the UK ruled that the breakaway faction MQMP was the true MQM and that its members were the beneficiaries of the trust and therefore of the properties. The MQM split into two factions, MQM London and MQM Pakistan, in August 2016 after a speech made by Hussein allegedly triggered violence in Pakistan's largest city, Karachi. MQM has dominated Karachi since the 1980s. When security forces cracked down on the party in the 1990s, Altaf Hussein sought asylum in the UK. But the leader has remained vocal about political developments in the country. And residents and political activists in Gilgit, Baltistan have raised objections over the formation of a committee to propose land reforms in the occupied territory, accusing that it is another attempt by Pakistan to change the demography of the region. A report. Locals and political activists in Gilgit, Baltistan have objected to formation of a committee to propose land reforms in the illegally occupied territory, blaming that it is another attempt by Pakistan to change the demography of the region. A worker of opposition PPP said the natives fear they will soon become a minority due to unregulated influx of outsiders and land mafias aided by Islamabad. Gilgit Baltistan earlier also witnessed unrest due to centuries-old Khalsa Sarkar law which allowed the government to claim ownership of barren land even if it is collectively owned by local community. We 
किराए के लोगों को ले जाके आप बंद कमरों में मीटिंग करोगे तो उसका रिजल्ट इंतहा खतरनाक निकलेगा एक्टिविस्ट अक्यूज पाकिस्तान रिपीटेडली ब्रिंग्स अबाउट सच लेजिस्लेशन विदाउट इवन कंसल्टिंग द लोकल्स वाइल वाइड स्प्रेड पॉवर्टी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड लैक ऑफ इवन बेसिक एम्यूनिटीज कंटिन्यू टू रिमेन मेजर चैलेंजेस And Ram Chandra Pandey, a social democrat, was sworn in as Nepal's third president on Monday, days after he comfortably won the election for the top post. In a special ceremony at the President Palace, Acting Chief Justice Hari Krishna Karki administered the oath to 78-year-old Pandey in the presence of Prime Minister Pushp Kamal Dehel. Pandey replaces Vidya Devi Bhandari, whose term ended on March 12. However, as PM Dehel backed Pandey, a Nepali Congress candidate for the post, the ruling coalition has split with key alliance partners CPN, UML, and RPP, withdrawing their support. The Prime Minister will now have to take a vote of confidence within 30 days. He is expected to cobble together a new coalition with the Nepali Congress Party and other smaller groups in the next two weeks. Well Indians are in jubilation after the Elephant Whisperer's documentary won an Oscar this week. To get a glimpse of the baby elephant Raghu from the documentary, people from across the world are thronging its habitat in southern India. Take a look. After the Indian documentary short film The Elephant Whisperer's won an Oscar this week, a large number of tourists have started thronging the Madhumalai Thepakadu Elephant Camp in India's southern Tamil Nadu state to witness the baby elephant Raghu from the documentary. The Elephant Whisperer's explores the relationship dynamics between humans and animals. It is about the tribal couple Bowman and Belize Bond with abandoned elephants Raghu and Amu. Tourists are showing curiosity to know more about the jumbos of the camp which have become the talk of the country. I'm from London in England and um we came to visit the elephants and then we found out that two of them, Bumi and Raghu, um won the Oscar last night so it's very fortunate that we were able to see them here. We heard about the Oscar winning award Oscar award winning elephant and so we have come here to Madhumalai camp. is our camp where we see have we seen the ragu the oscar winning elephant and bobby the other elephant which is also an amazing one so this one you can see in the background the cute one very cute you just fall in love with it while accepting the award filmmaker kartiki gonsalves said the documentary film aimed to highlight indigenous people and animals the elephant camp in the madhumalai tiger reserve is the oldest in asia established 105 years ago it has about 28 elephants and is situated on the banks of the river moyar that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.